important part for me while dating. How long should I wait? I'm a male to have sex. Well, you wait until um, she will, right? I mean, you can't attack her, but I mean, have sex ASAP, right? What? What? The, 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 no, don't wait. What will you be waiting for? I don't know what you'd be waiting for. What do you think you would be waiting for? Because you're right. It it is a very important part, and unless you feel that what that she wouldn't want to or something. I mean, most women won't, well, so a lot of women will on the first date, you know, it depends how old you are, where you are, what the culture is, but I mean, if it's a few dates and there's like nothing going on sexually at all, and you're like two consenting adults and you're not in your, you know, teens or whatever, then yeah, have sex. I mean, it's certainly a large part of compatibility. If you're not having sex, you should certainly ask uh, yourself why not and, and why you would you would be staying in that kind of celibate dating relationship. So I have a post about gentleman eunuchs. So you definitely want to read that. And that's not what I'm saying you are. That's a term that I made up. That means the guy who just plays like this nice guy gentleman card. And so he ends up with low libido women because he doesn't want to push them and they don't and and then okay so like most women if the guy doesn't even try to kiss you and you're like a sexual person you're not going to be interested you know if he doesn't express that he would sleep with you you're gonna not be interested really if you're a woman who likes sex right so then these guys because they don't ever say that they want sex really you know or imply it or try to kiss her or anything they by default end up filtering out all the high libido women and the only ones who are left are the low libido women who are like, jackpot, here's a guy who's a great guy. He doesn't value sex at all, similar to me. But in reality, he's the gentleman eunuch and he does value sex. He just thinks that he shouldn't really be asking and he, and, and he doesn't deserve it. And other guys only end up with sex on the first or second or third or fourth date and, you know, whatever. So you see my point? If it's important to you, then then come out of the gate, like try to kiss her at the end of the first date. If she doesn't, then she's probably not into you. And if she kisses you on the first date, and then on the second date you're making out for more, then by the third date, if you're two adults of the age to be following my site, which you are, then eh, I don't know what the problem would be, you know? Um, so good question though, and I get it a lot, and look up all my stuff on being a gentleman eunuch. And please, guys, if you're watching, send your likes and send your loves. And please do ask some questions, just like he just did, which was nice. Because it's a, it's a common question, when and women usually ask. Women usually say, how long should I wait to have sex? And it's like, well, what do you want out of this relationship? Do you want, like, a sexual relationship where there's a lot of connection? Because this thing where guys, like, don't call back. They call back if they enjoy the sex. They don't call back if it's awkward and weird, you know, then they don't. Because why would they do that? Why would anybody do that? By the way, women don't do that either. You know, women don't call back a guy after it's bad sex and awkward and they realize that they don't really click with the person. They don't want to see that person either. Nobody wants to continue relationships that have shown to be romantically or sexually not a fit. So that's not just guys. That's anybody, you know. I mean, and like, if, do you really, I guess this must be a different culture, because like, I would not want to get a text message that said, mm, you know, like, I was going to call you, but you know, then I thought, you know, you were so bad in bed that like, why would I do that? You know, like, I, I would not want that narrated, but apparently now women are like, oh, you can't ghost. I mean, I, I feel like ghosting could save some feelings, but that is definitely a minority opinion right now, so don't. Don't listen to that one. That's that's a that's a counterculture opinion. But if the guy doesn't call back, it's a pretty easy way to know he doesn't like you. You know? And they all call back. If they enjoy sex, they call back. You can't stop them from calling back. They call and call and call. And so you don't want them to call. 